Lord. I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. I'm gonna shout, shout, shout. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout and praise the Lord. Because of what is done, I'm gonna make it number one. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna shout and praise the Lord. I'm gonna click, click, click. I'm gonna clap, clap, clap. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna clap and praise the Lord. Because of all this done, I'm gonna make it number one. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna clap and praise the Lord. seeds. A farmer went to plant seeds. 
Some seeds were planted along the road and birds came and devoured them. Other seeds were planted on rocky ground where there was little soil. The plants sprouted quickly because the soil wasn't deep enough. But when the sun came up, they were scorched. They withered because their roots weren't deep enough. Other seeds were planted among thorn bushes, and the thorn bushes grew up and choked them. But other seeds were planted on good ground and produced grain. They produced 160 or 30 times as much as we planted. Good soil is like reading God's word and spending time with Him. You will grow to be strong and healthy and you will have good fruit too. As you read God's word and spend time with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will produce good fruit inside of us. And you will grow and grow to be more and more like Jesus. Come on kids, let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for helping me grow good fruit inside of me and to be more and more like you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hi kids! Today I'll be teaching you how to make this. The material needed for this craft will be A4 paper, scissors, pencil, a marker pen, some string, a stick, some straws, double-sided tape, and normal tape. Firstly, place your hand on your paper and trace the palm of your hands. Next, cut the shape of your hand out. Then, get a pencil and lightly mark the separations. This will be where we will put our straws later. Get some double-sided tape and cut and place them within the lines. After that, draw some lines over here. Place your double tape on the lines as well. Once you've done this, grab your straw and your marker pen. Now, you want to draw according to the shapes and sizes of your tape. Just a rough sketch will do. And keep doing so for the rest of the fingers. After you have cut out everything like that, tape them on the double-sided tape. Next, get your string and measure them about two times of your straw size. Then, put your string through the first part of your straw and tie a knot. Make sure that your knot is secure and tight. Then, string the remaining part of the straw back inside and through the other straws. Get a stick and push it through. Continue to do the same for the rest of the fingers. After you have got your strings through each straw, tie the ends together. Get another straw and you want to cut them above where the knot is. So about here. String in the thread into the straw. After you have stringed it in like that, get some tape and just tape it on the ends of the straw. Make sure it is secured. Tape it behind as well, just for added security. And make sure you do not tape on the threads. And then, you are done. Bye! Thank you for joining us, kids! See you next week! Bye!